Oh no, the Gandalon bandits are mad. I will add that Fire Emblem is a series where generally you can tell who's a bad guy and who's a good guy uh, just by looking at their portraits. about the scale. The scale's always going to change. Apparently this is a fortress. Kind of like the ones you can rest in in other maps. I don't think there are any. This one. It's fine. Nothing nefarious, saying. Here's this lady, Natalie. Who seems to be injured? Or sick, one of the two. Hmm, looking for her husband, eh? So she's out looking for her husband, who might be involved in something bad. His husband is, or her husband is named Dorcas. Uh, that's a name. I wonder if, by some odd chance, we'll encounter Dorcas in the near future. Uh, good old rat face. Don't want to hurt the women too bad. And they're not going to wait until nightfall because of bandit pride. Exactly. Honor amongst bandits, that's what they always say, right? Hey, that unit looks slight, uh, slightly different. Oh, look who it is, it's Dorcas. Now, here's what I was saying about how you can tell who's a good guy and who's a bad guy just by looking at their portraits. Like, even if we hadn't had that intro where Natalie says she's looking for him, you could probably discern that... You know... Maybe this guy on the right here isn't such a bad guy, after all. Right, some bandits outside the fortress. And unfortunately, Natalie can't move. This is the goal of the chapter. Uh, we actually want to keep Natalie safe for seven turns. Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. Green units are NPCs. Uh, they... They can fight 
sometimes, depending on who they are. But in this case, Natalie can't fight, and uh, if she gets attacked, she will almost certainly die, so we want to avoid that. So this is just general advice. Try to, uh... Try to use choke points so that you don't get completely surrounded by the enemy. So you can see here there are two points of entry as of right now. Uh, there's also this crack here that's going to cause an issue later on, but for now, we'll send Lynn over here, have her wait. We'll have Kent and Sane are both using swords. They'll guard the southern door. Take a look at the units real quick. Uh, this guy's got an axe, he's level 8. Uh, you can press up and down and, you know, just scroll through the entire list of enemies. I'm just trying to see if maybe any of them have special items that drop. There's Dorcas, by the way. I'll just leave him be. Put Will back there. And, uh, Florida can be there, too. So Dorcas has a hand axe, and in this game, hand axes uh, can attack at range. So that's uh, the first example of that. And unlike bows, uh, they can also attack at close range, too. Uh, and then, you know, the trade-off is that they're weaker than an iron axe, and they're less accurate, and I want to say they're even heavier, too, so they have less of a chance of double attacking the enemy. And a nice crit from Saint or er, Kent, rather, with that sweet flourish. This is basically how a lot of uh, defense chapters will go. One point of skills, not great. Not the best level up, but we'll make it work. Uh, I mean, it's just good tactics. Just uh, limit the, the ways the enemy can approach you and just let them break themselves against you. And, uh, oops. See, <laughs> the glowing bow icon means uh, it's doing double damage. I can't say that he looks like that picture, because we never saw it, but here's the thing that will happen. We'll have Lynn talk to Dorcas instead of attack. Use your words in this game about war. Surprise, buddy, your wife's here. She's here for you, and your bandit boss just told you to kidnap her. But, remember, he is kind-hearted, so he's like, you know what? You're right, that is fucked up. Let me switch sides right now. So yeah, throughout the game, there are plenty of weapon or plenty of, uh, of characters that you can talk to rather than attack, and usually that will recruit them to your side. So Torcus has a hand axe. The game wants me to use him uh, in the role that his hand axe allows. So we want. I want him to use indirect combat, I'll put him inside the walls and attack. 
can see that 63 hit rate isn't great, but, uh, oh, he just did a critical. I don't believe that's scripted. Well, actually, you know what? It might be. Uh, now the game's telling me to use the end turn command. Uh, back up Karina, heal that 10 damage she took from the bow. Uh, I'm just glad that it wasn't as fatal as it could be. Because, uh, believe me, it could get really fatal really fast. We'll heal up with Kent. That's fine. And I can push out, so I think that's what I'll do. Uh, I'll soften up the bandit. Hmm. Yeah, we'll soften up the bandit this turn. The entryway is still blocked, which is the important thing. And it's not like these guys are going to do much in the way of damage. They're going to keep hammering away at that wall, which is a little annoying, but... It's nothing I can't handle. Ah, yes. This is the first time it's happened, but enemies can call in reinforcements. Uh... Generally, they'll come in at the end of the enemy turn, which is what you want. Uh, I can't remember if it actually happens in this game, but in some Fire Emblem games, reinforcements, enemy reinforcements, will be allowed to move and attack on the same turn that they appear, which is, uh, frankly, extremely rude. Let's see, what I'll give... Will can take the kill here. Hopefully get a nice level out of it. <laughs> Luck. Uh, that's not a good level, Will. I'm gonna need you to step up your game. What we can do is take out this archer. Heal up with Sane, just because he's taking some blows. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the bandit can't go around, so that's actually fine for now. Uh, send Lin. Oh, wait a second. Uh, Lin can stay there. We'll send Dorcas over that way. Mr. Malorcus. And that's fine. And since I am starting to push out a little aggressively here, uh, something I should want to point uh, Actually, wait a second. Mm. Well, sometimes these chapters with a, a limited turn count have an alternate objective to them. Uh, I don't think that's the case this time. Or no, I'm pretty sure it is the case this time. Uh, like, if you really want to, you can push out and like, take down the boss for extra experience. I don't feel like doing that, so... Not going to. I'm just gonna play it safe. 
because I haven't set up my save state buttons yet. Uh, let's see here. Dorcas here. Uh, I'll put him here. That's what I want to do. Uh, then he can come out and meet this mercenary. Now see, the fun thing about games like this is just because this is the strategy I'm using doesn't mean it's the only one that will work. I could have quite easily just sent Will over to the western side of the fortress, like I'm doing now, and just have him uh, pelt away at the enemies trying to bash down the wall. That's also perfectly fine. Probably would have killed that... Uh, sword-wielding mercenary if I had done that. Skill and speed for Kent. Very good. Critical for Lin. Never say no to that. I love that animation. Their weapon level has increased. Uh, that basically just refers to uh, what weapons she can use. But I should take a look at that real quick. So now she's got a C rank in swords. Uh, so what that means is uh, right there, the top left thing, the sword E. That means it's an E rank. So as long as a unit has an E in that weapon class, uh, they can use it. Uh, e is the very bottom, so anyone can use an iron weapon. Uh, that one is preferred, that means Lin can only Lin can use it, and she can use it no matter what. Uh, she doesn't need a specific rank for it. Uh, let's take a look at Dorcas. Uh, well, it turns out ranks are irrelevant at this point. Because uh, I don't have anything that's higher than an E rank weapon right now. So, let's see. What's this gonna have? Just an iron lance? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack this guy. Maybe he'll die? He did die. That's fine. I was going to say what I would do is have Dorcas go out to meet that guy, and then I can send one of the knights up. Send Kent up that way. That way, when the enemy breaks through the wall, I'll have a way of you know, mitigating any harm they might do. I can have someone who can fight back uh, cover the way. Uh, hmm. Probably should have killed with Lin, but she's fine. If another enemy shows up, then I'll move, but for now she's good. This. Attack the axe wielder. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Or you know what I can do? So I'll have them go here. Now I deal with her. And then hopefully these two will both go after her when she's got uh, a terrain advantage. And now I'm thinking with power. Just let Sane take this guy out, it's no problem. What kind of level you got for me? Strength, skill, and defense. Excellent. on him. 
Maybe I can bait that bandit to attack Dorcas instead. Alright, so you're all good. And that guy comes down. He gets to taste some iron. This diet has been a little deficient lately. God, I love... I love just the basic fighter attack animation. Just put your whole entire body into it. It's really good. So this is the last turn, so I'm going to win this chapter at this point. That much is certain. I might as well wipe everyone out. As you can see there, Dorcas has taken a lot of damage. Uh, the thing with fighters is that they generally have high HP and low defense. There's more than one way to take enemy swords. Uh, I think I can send Florina up here. She hasn't had a chance to do anything in all chapter, so... We'll do this. Excellent. The fun thing about critical animations is, for a lot of units, it's very much spin to win. And, uh... Yeah, that's fine. We'll just let this final uh, turn play out. Another level for Lin. Another strength level for Lin. It's very good. <laughs> Beautiful. So there we have it. The bandits have fled. They've finally had enough. needs the money badly, so he's totally willing to uh, join our ranks. Natalie has decided that we're good people. Bandits. You know, that's the thing. Uh, we're not getting money. But, Lynn is a noble, and surely she will have access to riches soon enough. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, I have been streaming for a while, but... I want to keep going because I just like this game so much, so let's just do 